It's Friday, October 7th, 2022. And here's what's shaking at the Almond Alliance. I'm Aubrey Betancourt, President and CEO of the Almond Alliance, the voice of the Almond community and industry in Sacramento, Washington, D.C., and beyond. We're already planning our convention for 2023. Can we just talk about how ahead of the game this team is? I mean, we're rocking through this. If you're not a member, you're probably not hearing about it, but you're going to want to and talk to anybody who attended last year. I guarantee you they had an experience they never had before. This year we're heading down to La Quinta. We're actually doing two golf tournaments, which brings me to the most recent event coming up from the Almond Alliance. On October 27th, we're having our Almond PAC event. Now, what is a PAC? It's a political action committee. If you want to know more, get your latest issue of Almond Advantage. It has a great article of what the value of a PAC is and why that is important to the advocacy work that we do for our industry. Yeah, it sounds, you know, dirty and scuzzy and whatever, but look, folks, this is how the game is played. Let me tell you, you got some masters over here at Almond Alliance and within our Almond industry. So if you want to learn more about the pack, call us and come and attend the event on October 27th in Modesto and learn more about what the Political Action Committee and that side of the business that we do does. It's kind of a funny phrase. In the meantime, we had a wonderful week. We actually met with a number of our folks on shipping. We met with Hapag Lloyd, who we are happy to say we're gonna be launching uh, a training with them, a webinar with them about their new transcontinental service. They are reaching India, the Middle East, and Europe out of Norfolk. Their prices are right there as if you were shipping out of Oakland. You should really come check that out. We're gonna be doing a training on that probably at the end of the month. So it was great to have those visitors from overseas coming right here to Turlock to meet with us and talk about the importance of almond exports and how they can better facilitate our multimodal, multi-port vision to give us optionality, which is supply chain resilience, as we continue to see shipping uh, throughout the US and throughout the world, which also brings us to a great webinar we had with the Union Pacific and with CMA and SEBA talking about our options for both ship direct out of Oakland as well as uh, rail out of Oakland and out of the Central Valley talking about how to continue to support those services that we can reach um, India, Asia, Middle East, and beyond, utilizing those services, which is fantastic. So that was a great webinar. I can't thank you all enough for participating. We had a terrific turnout on that. And if you want more information or you want a direct contact to those carriers, um, trucking, or uh, uh, so our carriers, our logistics, uh, and, our, and our rail, please reach out. We actually have those contacts and we provide them to you. That's what those webinars are for. And more importantly, we love that you have the opportunity to give them feedback. Uh, we're kind of cutting out the middleman and allowing for us all to design the future that we need as we continue to face these challenges. But, you know, I was talking today at Virtual Nursery. They had, our, they're a great member and they just had their 80th anniversary. And one of the things that came up was that how we solve problems for ourselves. We don't wait around for someone to solve them for us. Um, we know it's tough times. We know we're dealing with another year of critical drought. Um, we know that, and, and trust me, I've been talking to DWR weekly, continue to do so. Looking forward to some announcements out of that soon. Um, but we, we continue to look at that and look at shipping and look at pricing and all of these factors, these outside pressures that affect us. And what I love about this industry and about this community and all of us is the moment we have that light bulb go on and we say, you know what, we're not putting up with this. We're gonna design our own future. And we own the fact that we're the third largest agricultural export of the United States. It is absolutely marvelous and there's nothing that can stop us. And so if tough times come, we have the opportunity to design our own future. And that's a lot of the work we're talking about with our partners across industry, with many of you. And we look forward to having more of those conversations in the weeks to come both on October 7th, 27th with our PAC event. We're also gonna be a, an exhibitor and doing a session at the Almond Conference in December. And we are so looking forward to some new announcements and getting out in the field with all of you, introducing you to some of our new team. You'll be seeing more than just me or the team anymore. We've got an expanding world over here and that means we can be in more places at once on behalf of you, our community and industry. So thank you all so much. And we wish you a safe weekend and a happy harvest and uh, be in the moment and enjoy the day. We'll see you soon, take care. Hey, Almond Alliance friends and family, check out where we are, a little quick preview. If you're not a member, you're not getting information about our annual meeting, which is in April. And this year we're hosting two golf tournaments, playing here at the beautiful PGA West. We're at the Nicholas Course and they're going through some amazing renovations. This is a once in a lifetime bucket list kind of thing. I know you golfers. I mean, look at this. 
you got to come check it out. Register with us April 2023, Almond Alliance Convention. We'll see you there.